Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so glad to see that everyone is here today. And I hope you're excited to learn something new. My course topic that I will be teaching you to learn about is the sodium hydroxide relaxer. We will have up to 50 minutes to discuss today's lesson objectives. So my goal is for you to understand the terminology and theory of a sodium hydroxide relaxer. We will discuss the proper setup and the implements needed. The importance of client consultation, scalp analysis, hair and scalp analysis to determine the porosity and elasticity of the hair. I will go through the overview process of the relaxer, the periodic strand test, and the neutralizing process. The chemical and physical phases, and the knowledge to always follow our manufacturer's directions, safety and sanitary precautions. Hair relaxers is a product that permanently strains natural curly hair. The main ingredient in all hydroxide relaxers is your hydroxide ions. They are highly alkaline, ranging from 12 to 14 on the pH scale, and they are the most commonly used in the salon. There are two hair relaxing phases. Your chemical change occurs as soon as that relaxer is applied, breaking and reforming the structure of the hair bonds. Your physical change is when you are smoothing and rinsing the hair. It's a change in state of matter. There are three relaxer strengths. Mild, which is formulated for fine, color treated, and slightly damaged hair. Your regular, which is recommended for normal hair with medium curl. Your super, which is intended for coarse and extremely curly hair. Sodium hydroxide relaxers are also called lye relaxers. The hair can swell more than twice its size. No mixing required, use as package. Hydroxide neutralizers reforms the bonds into a straight pattern. A neutralizing shampoo with a color indicator, a built-in color indicator, will signal when the hair has returned to its normal pH. So for example, the color indicator is usually pink. Once that color indicator turns white or clear, then you know that all that traces of that relaxer has been removed and the hair has been restored to its normal pH. So let's reveal our terminology. Hydroxide ions are the main ingredient in all hydroxide relaxers. The chemical change that occurs when you are breaking and reforming the structure of the hair bonds is considered your chemical change. Your physical change is smoothing and rinsing of the hair. And the ability of the hair to stretch and return to its normal shape is considered its elasticity. The degree in which hair absorbs moisture would be considered your porosity. Hydroxide relaxers permanently straighten natural curly hair, and then your neutralizer will reform the bonds into a straight pattern. So, Mary, what relaxer strength do we want to use for fine, color treated, and slightly damaged hair? Good job, mild. And why do we apply the protective base cream to the hairline and around the ears? Go ahead, Jason. Correct, to avoid any scalp irritation. And which is the main ingredient in all hydroxide relaxers? Go ahead, Susie. Good job. Hydroxide ions. And what, which test should we perform while the hair is relaxing? Correct, your periodic strand test. So at this time, we're going to go ahead and wash our hands, sanitize, and set up our station. We'll go into our client consultation. We'll have all of our implements and materials that we will need. For example, we have our relaxer, our base cream, our acid balance neutralizing shampoo, which is with the color indicator is our neutralizer, our conditioner, our plastic clips, our tail combs, our applicator brush, our styling combs, our chemical cape, our towels, our gloves, our water bottle, and our timer. So then we can go ahead in and we want to determine, okay, is this service recommended? What relaxer strength are we going to use? 
Is there any special considerations? Scalp irritation, um, damage, any sensitivity? At that time, we'll perform our scalp and hair analysis to determine is there any redness, swelling, abrasions, signs of infections, any extreme hair breakage. If any of these conditions exist, we do not want to proceed with this service. It must be declined for safety reasons. So, for example, let's say she has some type of infection going on on that scalp. We can't diagnose, but we can refer them to a doctor. Let's say there's some extreme hair damage. At that time, we can offer another service. For example, we can offer them a haircut or we can offer them a scalp treatment to moisturize the hair. We can offer a keratin treatment, which is very similar to a chemical relaxer service. It will smooth the hair 80 up to 80%. It'll take 100% of that frizz out, and it'll cut your blow drying down approximately 50%. You know, our hair is made out of keratin, so this would be a great service. What'll happen, too, is the hair will be in better condition than it was when she originally walked in here. So it's an excellent service to recommend. So we want to then complete out our client consultation form. We'll make any notes of any changes. We'll drape our client with our Sanic towel, chemical cape towel, and we will not shampoo the hair prior to this service. At that time, we will go into our procedure for applying a virgin application sodium hydroxide relaxer. We will part the hair into four sections. Then we will put on our gloves. And we will take our base cream and apply it around the hairline and ears. Then we will go in between and apply that base cream to all of our sections. Then what we will do is take quarter inch to half inch partings, horizontal and apply our base cream to the entire scalp. We'll do all four sections. At that time, we want to begin our application with our sodium hydroxide relaxer. We will begin our application in the most resistant areas, which is usually the back of the head. We will take quarter inch to half inch horizontal partings. Applying that relaxer, to a quarter inch to a half inch away from the scalp onto the top strand first, then the underside up to about an inch of its porous ends. We will do that to all, all of our sections. Then we will take the back of our comb, smooth the hair down, process according to manufacturer's directions, set your timer, usually around 20 minutes at room temperature. Then we'll go in and perform our periodic strand test. When we take the a section of our hair to perform that periodic strand test, we'll take the back of that tail comb, push towards the scalp to see exactly where that curl formation will be. At that time, we'll go in and apply our relaxer to the scalp and then pull through to the ends. Being careful, let's not, we don't want to penetrate too much on that scalp. And then we'll just pull it through the ends and we'll continue that process through all four sections. Once we do that, we'll go back in. We'll do our periodic strand test, taking the back of our tail, go home, tail comb, pushing the hair towards the scalp to see if that curl formation has t returned to its straight formation. Once, once that curl, we can go, once that curl formation is straight, we will shut off our timer and then take our client over mm -hmm. to the shampoo bowl and get ready to go into our neutralizing procedure. We'll rinse thoroughly with warm water and follow our manufacturer's directions. At that time, we will go into the neutralizing procedure. One option you will have is to apply a normalizing lotion, comb it through the hair, 
and leave on for approximately five minutes and rinse thoroughly, always following our manufacturer's directions. Then we will take our acid balance shampoo, shampoo the hair at least three times, and again, once that color indicator signals that the relaxer has completely removed and the normal pH has been restored, then we know that we can condition and then style it as desired. So again, if that color indicator is pink, we'll continue to rinse. And if it turns white, if the suds are white, then we know that it has returned to its normal pH and all of the relaxer has been removed. So we'll rinse thoroughly, we'll condition, We'll, take, we'll discard our gloves at that time and put them in the appropriate receptacles. Then we'll take our client back over to our station and style our hair as desired. So at that time, when you go in to blow dry or flat iron our hair, just make sure you use a low heat setting to avoid any extra damage done to the hair. You'll discard your disposable supplies in the appropriate receptacles. You'll disinfect your implements and store accordingly to sanitation requirements. You'll clean and sanitize and set up your station for your next service. You'll wash your hands with warm soapy water and you'll complete your client record card. Client record keeping is extremely important. You want to list the services used, your products used, your time process, and your final results. If your client has any comments or concern, make note for future services. So, for example, let's say that you were doing your chemical relaxing service. Through the processing time, Mary's hair on the left side, front side, she, her hair was not exactly completely relaxed. But all these three sections were completely straight. Well, you want to make a note on that client record card that that section is considered the most resistant. And everybody's hair is different. Everybody's texture is different. That's why it's important to do that client consultation to keep these accurate records so that you know in the future what you will need to do. So some important points to remember. We'll never apply a hydroxide relaxer onto hair that has been previously treated with what? Go ahead, Mary. Correct, a thio relaxer. What else? Jason, good. Metallic dyes. Do not relax that hair that is showing any type of extreme hair damage. And do not relax the hair more than 80%. So in conclusion, you will have learned to understand the theory and terminology of a sodium hydroxide relaxer. Relaxers come in different types, strength, bases, and ingredients. Shelex, shelex, uh, selection of which relaxer to be used will be analyzed with care and the importance of your client consultation, your hair and scalp analysis, to determine the prosthetic prosody and elasticity of the hair to know which relaxer strength you'll need to use. The significant impact on your physical and chemical changes. And remember, hydroxide relaxers are highly caustic. They can cause extreme damage, so professionalism and safety must be used. They are not compatible with hydroxide rela or thio relaxers. Extreme damage will occur. And always follow your manufacturer's directions for you and your client's safety. So your assignments for tomorrow will be perform a periodic strand test on each other, finish and study your handout review, you will make safety precaution manuals to demonstrate in class, you will appear up in groups and role play a chemical relaxing service consultation and fill out your client record card. You will be graded on the explanation and demonstration of a hair and scalp analysis. You will be graded on your workbook sheets on chemical hair relaxing. We'll review your handout for your theory exam on Friday. You will follow in your mock practical exam sodium hydroxide virgin application using brush method. 
So at this time, I will let you take a 10 minute break and I will go in or I will set up the demonstration for your practical sodium hydroxide relaxer.